Hi guys, and welcome to Criminal Content. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Kobe, and uh, you might know me from Popcorn Roulette. Now I'm going to continue on my Martin Scorsese path of uh, watching the films that somehow escaped me. So they tend to be the earlier ones. I'm a huge Martin Scorsese fan uh, and love, I mean, I think everything I've ever seen. Uh, but they're the earlier ones like Main Streets, um, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, and The King of Comedy are the ones that uh, somehow slipped by me and then I think I got too caught up in, you know, knowing of them peripherally uh, and never really getting back in and watching it in their entirety. So it's been great so far. I absolutely adored Taxi Driver. Maybe one of my favorite films ever. It was amazing. So today, join me for Main Streets, uh, Scorsese's first collab with De Niro. I'm excited, 1973, I believe. Um, and it's, it's gonna be fun, hopefully. So for the full watch along, head over to our Patreon. And uh, with that, let's get into it. I always get so nervous. <laughs> right after hitting play. It's a combination of like the excitement. Shh. You do it in the streets. You do it at home. The rest is bullshit and you know it. Oh, we're straight in. I don't like talking over them and missing information, so I stopped, but I'm excited. Okay, so we just saw him as sport in, uh, in Taxi Driver, which was actually after this, I guess, right? A couple of years. Ah! So this was the first, I'm gonna go with 73. This was the, uh, the first big success for him, right? Like he had a couple other films before that, but in terms of... Um, Main Streets. But in terms of like wide success and first De Niro, you know, beginning of a long lasting relationship. So he obviously loves Keitel too. I guess I see him pop up and stuff, whether it's, you know, Goodfellas or even Departed, but I never realized they had such a good relationship. How does Kaitel look older in this than he did in Taxi Driver? <laughs> Which was after. Oh, jeez. Keep out of my place, I know your face. And you! Oh, he's just a nobody. And I shit in my place. I didn't do nothing. What you do here, you're supposed to be the bouncer. I didn't do nothing. That's it, you didn't do nothing. Tony, got it. Um, I thought that was Kaitel for a minute. And I was like, oh, this is not a, really a, a subject matter. Like Scorsese doesn't really make the, I don't know, that, but it was a random person got kicked out. Makes more sense. Well, hurry up with that shit, huh? I feel like he does gangster. He doesn't do druggy, you know? This is famous, like this is iconic. It's in my brain, even without having seen the movie, this like street, the hat and. Oh, it's him! Oh, that took me way too long. That's De Niro. Not worthy to drink your blood. Not worthy to drink your blood. You know that next week I'm gonna come back and he's gonna just give me another 10 Hail Marys and another 10 Our Fathers and. Exactly. <laughs> your soul, the spiritual side. And you know. I like it. It's dark and heavy and poignant already. So we got Charlie Kaitel, and then we got Johnny De Niro, and then Michael and Tony. Okay. This could be, it all feels similar. This could be good fellas. It could be, you know, it's. <laughs> I like it when the films have a different enough vibe and story, but you kind of, you get that. You get that Marty, Marty Scorsese 
flavor on it for sure, immediately. Family thing, accomplishment. I can't explain it, right? <clears throat> the Willie's a good kid. Right. Yes, he will. Okay, so De Niro's a liability already. He's always unwell, right? <laughs> Mentally. I mean, from this, when we're looking at Taxi Driver, then, the, like, this, then Taxi Driver. Just that slightly unhinged. Cape Fear, you know. Well, we play by your rules, don't we? Well, don't we? Oh, I think that him talking about the girl was him talking previously to the priest about her, not the guys behind. Because I couldn't see them talking, but I knew it wasn't Kaital. So was it him talking to, doing his confessions? <laughs> What an entrance. Not dissimilar to the Goodfellas entrance, you know? When he's just walking around slipping money to everybody. Hey. <laughs> Joe Valino. Oh, how are you? All right, how are you? I want you to meet. <laughs> huh. Where'd you get this? What? This. Huh. This. Yeah. Mr. Chavello, I like your presence in the back room. If you got a moment to do Is he just using counterfeit, shitty fake money? What do you mean? I made my payment last Tuesday. What are you talking about? You paid him last week? Yeah, I paid him last week. You paid him. Mm. Well, you're right. I'm right. Yeah, was it last Tuesday? The week before that I was thinking of, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I was so crazy. <laughs> I want to kill this kid. Meanwhile, I got to get back in the game. Bing, 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 I lose $400. Nah, she's the one. Nah. What, your left or my left? We both stand the same way. Well, I don't know. It don't matter. Amazing. Also, he wasn't angry about... It wasn't fake money. I didn't know what it was. It was just that he was spending money when he was owing Michael money. Uh, beats. Hey. How about me, John? I don't get a drink. Hey, Mike. Michael. Well, I mean, we don't want it to get out of hand. Huh? Don't worry. It ain't gonna get out of hand. Don't worry, Mike. I'm doing it for you. Yeah, come on, have a drink. Okay. Gentlemen! <sighs> Feel like it's gonna get out of hand. He's making me uncomfortable because he's so like squirrely and just like excusey, and I feel like he's going to wreck stuff, and he's just irresponsible. But it's it's such a testament to his acting because this and Taxi Driver next to each other again, he's like kind of like unhinged and whatever. But it's it's just totally totally different. He just creates his characters, and he's incredible. You can't make this week's payments. Money or he gets the place. And right now, it looks like he's getting the place. He's got a partner who is a bum. He disappears. Well, see, we like Harvey Keitel, and he's loyal to Johnny, and you can see that already, but then it flashes to that scene where he's still just doing shakedowns and, you know, being awful to, to these people. And they just go from one place to another for their payments. These guys are like busting their asses to, you know, run their businesses and whatever, and they gotta pay out the mob. But we like you, Harvey. This business is bad. Can I help? Yeah, you can help by waiting. Didn't even have sympathy for that guy's story <laughs> in the restaurant. Where are you guys from? Riverdale. Maybe that's what they do up in Riverdale, well, but down here we gotta take cash. Now you gotta take a check. Wait over there and keep your mouth shut. Is this like a normal transaction or is something sus going on? Take checks, right? Sure, I take checks. No, you don't. How much do we get? You know, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see here. What do we get here? Oh, they're not coming back. <laughs> Three, four, five, ten, fifteen. Here. Take five. I'll tell you what I Well, you're about to sift them too. They're not going back. <laughs> Sell firecrackers. Let's go to movies. And the movie's on you. <laughs> Pull over here. Pull over here. See you tomorrow, right? Frankie, be good. Oh, so maybe the third guy that pointed them in their direction was just in on in it. That's part of the play. $20. You're laughing about $20. Let's go to movies. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You this better be. Oh, so they got big games, but then they're running tiny games in the street like that, too. It's funny. Because yeah, there was a third guy that like pointed at them I, that they were talking to and then sent them over. So maybe he's, I didn't look at him close enough, but maybe he was on their side. You watch him, I'm going to get the manager in here. You're going to go right out in the street. Hey, go get the 
Yeah. This guy on the right has like a, a very Chaz Palmentary vibe, you know, Detective Kuyon. He's very stoic. He's not giving much away. He's the hard ass. How do you know? Just keep your mouth shut when we get there. I'll I'm take care of Just don't say nothing, all right? I'm not saying nothing. You let him clean. You should have stopped him. You let him clean the windscreen and gave him nothing. Yeah, everybody, benedictions. My good friend Tutti over here. <laughs> Tutti. Tutti. <laughs> you can't lose with that. How about Mushy? Mushy. Tutti and Mushy? Who's buying Me. Chop on my they all look so sweaty in there. And we don't pay mooks. A mook. I'm a mook. What's a mook? I don't know. What's a mook? What is a mook? No. <laughs> it looks so good, fellas. -y. And I mean, this is 70. Three and what Goodfellow is like 19, what, like 90? 91, maybe? I don't know. 90, early, early 90s. Maybe even late 80s. Early 90s, maybe. See, this all reflects badly on Kaitel. <laughs> Who's even still fighting? Where's the rest of them? But then are these guys are all the cops like on their payroll, you know? Don't the mobsters have the cops in their pocket? No, no, no. This is a knife. No, it's got toothpick in there and uh, Davis. Davis, this is very embarrassing. Okay, well this guy has him on the on his side. We're friends. Right. Your cousin. Yeah. Where are you from? The east side. The east side. What is this? This is a knife. No, is a it's knife. A, what are you gonna say about this knife? It's a little harmless pen knife. It's a tiny little New Jersey. Jersey. All right, here. Just be on your park, man. Going to Philadelphia. <sighs> we just don't like being pushed around. Yeah. Hey, come on, Joe. We're pushing you around. Yeah. Well, let's have a drink and forget about it. All right. right. This is the drink we never had before. <laughs> Wait, so the fight almost, the fight worked in their favor. They were about to, like, pay and be civil, and then De Niro pissed them off. They got into this big brawl. This guy had to spend more money to get the cops to leave, and now they're okay. I oh, know. You go ahead, count it. Hey, come on. No bullshit, Prince. Come on. Hey, don't fucking touch me, scumbag. Hey, oh, shut up. Don't, don't, don't. It's going okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Just shut your mouth. Well, they got paid, and they're out. What is that? I want you to keep quiet about this. I don't have a license for it. It, it is a lion! <laughs> and the purring. Someone's gonna get killed by that lion. For sure. Oh my gosh. Is that going to come back in the story? I hope so. That's too weird to just be a standalone plot point. <laughs> I was mad because they lied. I'm going to tell you one thing. I ain't never going on no retreat. Never. <laughs> Sit down. Uh -oh. This kid is an actual kid. Again, great music for this scene and for this movie. Music I don't like, you know, independently. I gotta go to the bathroom. It works every time. So go ahead, what do you want? Somebody to hold the phone? <laughs> Who is this guy? And where is Joey? Is he still in with the lion? <laughs> Cause that's Tony, Charlie, and Johnny boy. For how much? Why don't you use your head? Hey! hey. <laughs> Ah! Stop fighting everybody! And they're just annoyed because he's not, he owes all of them. Yeah, but he's right, he owes everybody, and then he's like, yeah, how much, and drinks, and 
throwing money about for girls. Pull it together, Johnny. Michael, I've got a game you cannot say no to. No. <laughs> He's waiting for Joey. He's gonna kill him. He got shot a few times. Oh. oh, I thought Joey was the guy with the line, and I thought that that guy was waiting to kill Joey, but that was just a line to be able to sit at the bar and wait for the moment. Hey, 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 keep him down. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, and Tony, I don't know why I keep calling him Joey. Joey's the other guy that he was waiting for, but Tony was the lion. It's Tony that had the lion in his bar, in case I kept saying Joey was with the lion. Oh, my God. Hey, baby, I got any meat. But I just mean he was in that room with them, and then I didn't see where he went after that. <sighs> hey, look at that piece, John. Look at the sign for the gun shop. It's the revolver hanging out as the awning. You, I'm stupid for getting my head punched in. You swine hunt. Aw, see, they're like best friends. I know he's like friends with Tony and Michael too, as in Charlie, but Johnny's is, Johnny's is like his brother. Is he gone? Yeah, turn the corner, come on. Yeah, that don't mean he's gone. Come on, get over here. Turn the corner. What's the matter with you? I hope that him defending Johnny Boy doesn't get him killed by those other guys down the line. He stands up for him, defends him. He's got his back, and he's like, yeah, 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 I'll sort it out. You know, when he's owing all these other guys money, I hope it doesn't get worse, and he sort of puts his neck out and dies. Over <laughs> to my aunt's, because she got lots of food. She keeps a lot of food all the time. I'll go through the fire escape, okay? Don't do that, Johnny. You... I feel like I can see his mic pack in his back of his shorts. Yeah, but see, I feel like I can see a wire up Harvey Keitel's chest, too. Am I crazy? Am I making it up? Did we have, like, love mics and wires then? Yeah! I don't know the evolution of that kind of technology. But I thought I saw like a pack on De Niro and I feel like I saw a wire. And once you tuck me in, sweetie. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen De Niro since or before or ever with this Beatles type bowl haircut that he has. And now he's just across the street. With De Niro and these are memories, or have we gone forward? The kid went right to the bathroom and shot him. And the guy would keep coming at him, like Rasputin. I don't like you. Okay, no, it's present, it's current. Because of the sound? Yeah, some mouth, you know what I mean? Shit, like what? He has zaps. Wow! Okay, so I, because of the sound edit and a little bit like of the mis, like mix matched, um, mismatched takes and it twitches, I wasn't sure whether he was like remembering or actually talking to her because it was kind of muffled. So that's why I was like, oh, are these like memory flashbacks for him and some girl? But no, we moved forward. So he was hanging out with Johnny and then we cut to the fact that he's actually seeing his cousin in secret. La Miami, per un sei mesi, un anno. Quando tutto si sarà calmato, vedrò quello che potrò fare per lui. Ma per il momento, mandalo via. Just, just different fonts for different frames. It's weird timeline stuff. Some of the some of the jumps have me confused. And the grass and the trees, and I hate heat. <laughs> Wait, so out here the sound is good? The sound mixing with birds, water, and them being outdoors in the wind is clearer than the apartment scene? Cousin Johnny. No, not exactly your cousin Johnny. Well, I hope not because he is crazy. I mean, he is driving me nuts. I don't know how you can be <laughs> like an insane person. What is the matter with you? How can you talk about your cousin? Him. He's like an insane. 
insane person. Me neither. I don't run numbers. But he's like the gangster with the heart of gold. It's like he doesn't, he honestly doesn't want anything to happen to Johnny and cares about him, even though he's like a literal nightmare accident waiting to happen every time we've seen him so far. He's like ruined the meeting, the day, the whole thing. What was that, her? He's just like... That's all I need now is to get caught in the village with a melange. Oh. Oh. Okay, he wants to, but it's still like a biracial taboo thing. Hi, Oscar. But... He's like, what is happening? But he likes her too. Oof. Okay, he's not perfect. I'm like gangster with the heart of gold. He's a. <laughs> Just loyal to Johnny. Ah, What's his name, Oscar or something? She, uh, she's got epilepsy. That's what I said, she's sick in the head. Her mother and father <laughs> came to me for advice. She wants her own apartment. That's ridiculous. They're so closed off and uninformed and judgmental. Christ, you are disgusting. Yuck. And so he still thought he was lying about the restaurant not doing well. Meet me downstairs now. Yeah. So it's not just uh, hidden from Johnny because it's her cousin. His whole family's against it. Can't make it tonight. I don't feel that way about you. I don't want to stop seeing you. Does he like her or the dancer girl? Just let me get the rest of my first, all right? Then, then I think things are going to be easier. So he does. See, when he's with her, I feel like he really likes her and he just doesn't want to say I love you and commit, but he does. And so then the dancer thing threw me, um, wanting to, you know, go out with her and then feeling like he couldn't be seen with her. Unless he's just a player and he can't decide. As in to see that we are talking? In a couple of minutes, we'll be outside. Uh-uh. This Michael guy hasn't smiled once. <laughs> I don't want to be late, I can meet somebody. All right. Uh, we're still at tonight, all right? OK. Ciao. And Michael, I appreciate what you're doing for me, all right? Okay. All right. Oh, no. Get to talk some sense, beat some sense into him. I mean. Literally just beat him up. It's not gonna do anything. So Kaitel is the lead in this. It did Scorsese, you know, not know what he was getting into, got De Niro into it, and just thought he was so incredible. They sort of fell in love uh, professionally. Only been out a couple of times. Tony. Are we going to see this lion again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see the kissing the nigga under the bridge in Jersey. <laughs> what are you talking about? We'll see. Her lips on his lips. It's kissing. You sure? Sure. Mm. See, this is the world, sad as it is, and so Charlie feels like he can't even be seen with the dancer, but that's why I want to know if he even, you know, is in love with Teresa or not. Or it's just someone there that he's using her and it's convenient. I mean, it couldn't be more convenient, logistically. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What? What's that? Hey, They're closed for a private party tonight. Does that mean the dances are off or the dancers are gonna dance for the private party. <laughs> Absolute mess. Tony's a pretty good sport, bar owner wise. All right. 
A smile! A smile! It's making me feel drunk. Well, it's the kind of a biscuit that's supposed to bounce off the wall back in your mouth. You if it don't out. bounce back, <laughs> you go hungry. Do, 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 oh my gosh, he looks so wasted. <laughs> He's covered in alcohol and sweat. And, oh, we had a good night. Amen, I say to thee. I guess. That will not come out from it till hours. I guess no one was standing there and it was just the coat rack and the hat rack. So it just looked like a silhouette of a person. <laughs> He's just having some PTSD episode. He does. Yeah, he's not in love with Teresa or the dancer. He's just like, he's open to all possibilities and opportunities. <laughs> I don't want a drink. Carl, give Teresa a drink. I don't want a drink. Have a drink. I'll have a seven and seven. Okay. Seven and seven. Seven up and seven. Seagram seven? I mean, yeah, give me this. Yeah, fuck, you ain't got it. Fuck, 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 Come on. Something's gotta happen, though, to heighten the stakes soon. You and your numbers. Fucking chicken shits. Back to Batan. What is he about to light? Back to Batan. And not a bomb. Wake up the neighborhood. Put the fuck. Put, put that out. Put what out? Johnny. Oh my gosh! He, oh, see, I felt I felt bad for him, but he's just a nightmare. He's a nightmare. So now I don't feel as bad for Harvey Keitel for Charlie. He can't have this guy. He can't have his best friend be this loose of a cannon. Hey, you go to work tomorrow, Johnny. You're not gonna break both your arms. We understand each other. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm sorry, Charlie. I really am. I mean. Uh... He just downed it by a third from 3,000 to 2,000, and Johnny's like, eh, yeah, thanks. Johnny, one word out of your mouth. My uncle has one word about this. All right, hey. Hey, I was just asking. I... Ugh. I want to like him, but he's so annoying. Look at him. He's throwing dynamite sticks off of rooftops. Oh, gosh. Johnny, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, we've all had that friend. We've all been that friend. <laughs> Michael was looking for you. What's happening? Nothing. What did you just say? Teresa, wrap the hands already. Ugh. But this could also be shot to look like he's running away. He could be running to the meat. Okay, not in that mood. He's not. Oh my gosh, he's just, no. Where is he going then, if he's not going to meet them? Because I was thinking, oh, hopefully it was just trying to make us feel like he wasn't going to show and then he was headed there um, to surprise us. <laughs> You're insane! So he is on his way there. Where were you? I was always around. Answer me, you son of a bitch. Where were you? Is he late or is he on time? Is it okay? About an hour and a half late, you know that? No, it's too bad. Michael's waiting for us. Oh, man. That's what I thought. I was like, they're going to make it sound like he's not coming. But he's coming. Better start calling up everybody. Hmm. So you wonder what she's doing there? So Kitty's out. Did she make any plans yet or what? When is he getting married? Get Kitty's out. What do you mean? I ain't smart. I'm stupid, remember? You know I mean? I'm a strunz. My mom's so stupid, you gotta look out for me. Well, yeah. Oh, Teresa, come on. Stay here. What are you talking about? I don't want to break up a nice, happy household here. No happy house. Johnny, Johnny. He's such a stirrer. He's such a stirrer. My aunt and uncle, stop, stop. the guys don't give a shit. What do they care? I won't even say nothing to your uncle Javon. Come here, stop you know that? I'm not fooling around. Come here. Wait, aren't they going to see Michael together? Get you out of 
That's Scorsese's mom, right? I mean, he puts his mom in everything. I'm sure that's got to be her. It's got to be Mrs. Scorsese. Yes. Yeah, I recognize her. Man, he's such an ass. Take uh, take twenty. Yeah, take twenty-two. Whatever rate that'll make uh, that'll make thirty dollars for people to tonight. Like thirty dollars, in lieu of two thousand. Have a drink. I don't want. Uh, I feel like it's gonna go bad. I feel like it's been okay for too long, and that it's just gonna end in some Scorsese. Bloodbathy. Well, if she wants to go or not, she's not gonna go. How's that? Let go of her. Take her away from me. She just flipped from saying, telling that guy to go away to then her not wanting to stay. Hey, Joyce. Yeah, maybe we'll meet at bingo some night. <sighs> it's also chaotic. <laughs> oh, man. He's got 30 bucks for him. Now, yeah, I'm sorry, Mikey, but you know, uh, uh, something to do, and, uh, but I got something for you. Uh, he's smiling. He's just being like a little twerp. You know something, Mikey? You make me laugh. You know that? You know, I borrow money <laughs> all over this neighborhood, left and right. Yeah. So who does that leave me to borrow money from but you? I borrow money from you because you're the only off around here that I can borrow money from. Oh. <sighs> Some, Someone's uh, dying. Come on. Come on. Come on, mother. Come on, big shot. Maybe Michael just knows he's insane. He's like, I'm not gonna. I'm right. a crazy person with a gun. Come on. Come on. You, you don't Come have on. the. You don't have the guts. Come on. Now you did it. Get out of here before this blows up. Cool. Hide the gun, Tom. Throw it away. It's not bullets. He was never gonna shoot him or hurt him. But still, it's killing Charlie. Oh my goodness, he's just everything is a joke. Look, I think is he's funny and annoying, but Harvey Keitel, I, if I was Harvey Keitel, I would just want to strangle him. Look at him, he's a breaking point. Get in. Is he gonna kill him? Is he gonna kill his best friend? I have no idea. I don't even know how long I've been watching. I don't know if we're near the end or from the middle. Ah! <laughs> but De Niro isn't learning or changing anything. He's only getting worse. Therese, I got no time for this. <sighs> so what happened? Forget it. Hey, Charlie, I really think we should talk to your uncle. If he's still defending him and helping him and driving him away for a few days. Oh, I thought he'd given up on him. Well, hide me or what? That's right. He's gonna hide him and help him still. Hey, why don't you make it louder? Huh? Yeah. Where are we no, going? Seriously, do you know which way you're going? Do you know that? Where are we going? Hey, where are we going, John? You know where he's going. We don't know Brooklyn. What's this? Or what if he did reach breaking point and he is gonna kill him, but then again, and we think that he's gonna help him. Is that guy crazy? Hey, hey, Jake. Now's the time. Oh my gosh, who did he get? Who's that? De Niro in the neck. Same place as where he gets first shot in Taxi Driver. In the neck. On the, in the staircase. Is that just De Niro's blood or is Keitel shot in the hand? Is that what? Yeah, I knew it had to build to something like this. Ah. <sighs> uh. So that's Johnny. Kaitel got out. Was Teresa's hand moving? Yeah, he did get shot in the arm. 
They're in there getting her out. I think she's, I think she might be okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh though, if I was laying through the windscreen like that and my boyfriend just got out of the car and left me there and didn't check on me, I'd be so offended. Oof. Okay, everybody's alive. That's it? Oh. What? So I... Uh... So then that was the last shot. I I don't know if I looked back at, the, at you guys at the lens to, to say something. Did I miss? So that's it. They're all alive. It just keeps going. Right? There's no real... Like, they're not gonna... Johnny Boy's not going to... You know, change and um, and start being responsible. My, Michael's not gonna get off his case. Like, what 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 happens? Okay, I guess it just leaves us here with those questions. I mean, I thought it was I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a little bit more uh, a little bit more confusing um, than I expected, just because of like the fast, like a lot of the edits and some of the sound. Mixing and stuff is a little bit because it's the seven. It's early seventies. Um, it's an incredible film uh, for then and and for now. And no wonder it's his first huge success. Um, you know, worldwide, I guess. Uh, back then, that really put him on the map, especially with those guys and working with those actors. But it was it was fun. It was great. I liked it. I I like Taxi Driver better. So if I'm gonna order like the old school seventies Scorsese films, at the moment it's Taxi Driver and then streets um so stay tuned to see how i go with uh, raging bull and the king of comedy and uh we'll see you next time here on criminal content i'm kobe and it's been nice watching with you bye